What's up everyone? So today I'm going to be showing you my favorite lotions. Each and every one of these lotions you can pair with a bunch of different fragrances. If you enjoy this video, definitely like, comment, and subscribe and we are going to get right into it. The first product I'm going to be talking about is Pink Chiffon. This stuff is for my girly lovers, my sweet lovers. This is divine. It's light, it's airy, but it's not too light to the point where the lasting power is not good. This stuff is so sweet, but it's not overpowering to the point where it's going to give you a headache. You can mix this with other fragrances like vanilla, more sweet fragrances, um, Velvet Petals by Victoria's Secret, Warm and Cozy. You can mix it with so many different fragrances and I love fragrances and body creams that are versatile. The keynotes of this product are Sparkling Red Pear, Jasmine Petals, Thierry Flower, Vanilla Orchid, and Chiffon Musk. I for sure pick up that red pear. It's very slight but very apparent. The jasmine petals I do pick up on slightly. I get the vanilla orchid. It has that sweet element but it's not too overpowering. And the chiffon musk. This stuff has a very light and airy presence to it. I think that's why I love it. It's great to use as a lotion and as a base because many products can go right over this which is great. The packaging could definitely be a lot better but we are working with it. It's not terribly horrible. I think the pink packaging in general is perfect for this fragrance. When I smell this I just... any packaging would be wrong if it wasn't pink. This is just great for any sweet lover and even if you don't like really sweet don't pass up on this still give it a try although it is a retired fragrance you can find it online if you don't like a product that is only sold online you can return them in the stores and get your money back if you have a receipt and exchange if you just want to get a different sort of lotion so pick this up if you know the bath and body works body cream formula is outstanding i love victoria's secret but none come even close to the formula of um, Bath and Body Works. You need to get it in your life. Pick this up, you guys. I got you. Next product we are going to be talking about is Into the Night. This is for my sultry, sexy type of fragrance lovers. This is definitely that deep berry fragrance that you need. This stuff is just sexy. It is... Ooh, a slight amount of musk. It's not overpowering. This screams winter to me. This screams fall. This is definitely not a summer sort of fragrance at all. This is that fancy restaurant. You're going out to the city. You got to date. You're going to look good. You're going to look fresh. This is that. It's not a fresh fragrance. So when I say fresh, I don't mean like it's a fresh fragrance. You know what I mean? Thank God the keynote's on the back. It says Raspberry Noir, Amber Crystals, Velvety Rose Petals, Creamy Patchouli. Also, it has Mocha Musk. Now, the thing with this is that I pick up the raspberry, but it's a deeper form of raspberry. I am not a fan of amber, but I do think if it's done right, if it's done tastefully, it can smell amazing. I do pick up the rose fragrance. It's very light, very complemented by the raspberry. Both of those together really go really well together. The creamy patchouli I love. I have a love-hate with patchouli. I usually hate it. I usually despise it. But if it's done right, it can be really good. But usually I hate it. I don't know. And the musk is definitely here for that lasting power, that last punch at the end. It truly makes sense that it is the last note in here because it's that pungent scent at the end that just hits you in the face and you're like, whoa, that shit's fire. It's a deep, fruity fragrance. I think it can work for so many different type of fragrance lovers. I love the packaging. I adore it. I think it looks so classy. It's just gorgeous. This fragrance will always be in my collection. I don't think I could ever go without this in my collection. Because it can be paired with many, many different fragrances, it's great to have in your collection. It's also a really good nighttime fragrance. If you do have your husband or you're sleeping over your boyfriend or girlfriend's house. It's one of those fragrances that is really nice for bedtime. I noticed it's really relaxing but it's sexy at the same time. So yes, get this if you want to try it. I promise you, you guys will most likely really enjoy this. 
Next we have is Confetti Cake Pop. Sadly, they do not sell this anymore. They kept Strawberry Pound Cake around, but they didn't keep this around. I think that it should have been the other way around because this is outstanding. So many people have complimented me on this fragrance. Many people have been like, oh my god, you smell like a cake. This is a warm, out of the oven cake. It's that confetti cake from when you were a kid, but it's warm. This stuff is divine. It says on the back that the fragrance notes are creamy cake frosting. Of course, you get that element. Rainbow sprinkles and vanilla bean. There has to be some type of warmth in here that they're not stating because it's so warm, but it's not overpowering. It's just that perfect fall and winter fragrance. I can picture myself wearing this the most during the month of December. It's warm. It's that hoodie sweats, those hoodie and leggings type of fragrance. Next fragrance I have is my new one. This is Gingham. This stuff, I don't know how I went without it in my collection. I have no idea. It's the most fresh beautiful fragrance. I love the body mist and I'm so happy I exchanged a body lotion for this stuff. This is just fresh. It says it is a pretty blend of fresh blue florals and crisp clean fruits. This fragrance celebrates everything we love about our brand. The keynotes are blue freesia, white peach, and fresh clementine violet and clean musk. The blue freesia you get, it's that fresh element that you first pick up on. The white peach you get because it has that added sweetness, but it's not any form of vanilla or a crazy citrus like a lemon or something. It's perfect to have the peach. The fresh clementine just makes this, as we know, I'm obsessed with clementine in any fragrance. I think it just adds the most beautiful fresh element. It goes well with many different fragrances. And the violet and clean musk, the clean musk is going to add that end result of lasting power. It's the last thing you're going to smell. It reacts very well with many people's body chemistry. Musk just tends to last long. Same with patchouli. But this is that fresh fragrance that you can pair light blue by Dolce & Gabbana, Dance in the Rain, Saltwater Breeze, Gingham, Aqua Kiss, um, Love by Victoria's Secret. You can pair so many fragrances with this. I think it's really a practical thing to have. It's great for every single day. You can really put any fragrance on top of this. It's nice. It's light. It's not overbearing by any means. This one is warm and cozy. Now this is from Victoria's Secret. It is their formula. Sadly, I do not like their formula a lot a lot. Because I'm so used to the Bath & Body Works formula, the formulas are night and day. Hands down, Bath & Body Works has a better texture to it. It blends in my skin better. It absorbs better. It's just a better formula in general. But this stuff is so good because of the scent and the lasting power that this leaves with the lotion. Now, this fragrance is winter to me. It is warm. It's cozy. It's go to school, going on a date, nighttime, sweats and a hoodie. But you could also get dressed up and wear this fragrance. This is my most complimented, one of my most complimented fragrances. I get an insane amount of compliments when I wear this. It's just the cutest. I wish it had the square packaging like it used to back in the day, but we can settle with this. We could settle. It's whatever. I got my nails done. Finally, thank the Lord. It was getting out of hand. It was getting out of control. Anywho, my ADHD gets the best of me. But this stuff, the packaging could be better. It's kind of lame. Don't take this as if it's just a plain vanilla fragrance. It is not that. I promise that you have never smelled anything similar to Warm and Cozy in your life. I am going to get you guys the um, fragrance notes. It says that the fragrance style is warm with soft vanilla, passion fruit, and toasted coconut. I'm sure you didn't know that there was coconut in here, but I promise you it does not smell like coconut at all. It just adds so much to this fragrance. It truly adds that warmth, but not a warmth warmth. It's that clean warmth type of warmth. Does that make sense? I don't know. Do I sound crazy? Probably. But 
This is truly one of my most unique fragrances. I've never smelled anything like this. I could never go with this not in my collection. I love this fragrance. It's great. I love the body mist as well. Pair those two together, you're going to be smelling good all day. Again, the formula isn't crazy good, but like we're working with it. We're working with it. Anyways, that is everything I have to show you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely like, comment, and subscribe. God bless you guys, and I will see you in my next one.